Hey guys, today's video I'm going to show you how I personally maul my sand at home without a mauler. After every cast, I run the sand through a screen to break up all the clumps. This sand here, I'm just demonstrating, it has already been screened so there is no clump. Now that the sand is clump free, I'll start adding it to a five gallon bucket. I fill the bucket up a little bit at a time instead of all at once. And then I'll use a spray gun and mist it by spraying it with water. With green sand, you don't want to get it soaking wet. You just want to get every part of that sand a little bit damp. So by misting it, that's the best way to go. Now that I have a little bit of sand in the bucket, what I'll do now is I will start misting it a little bit at a time. I will mist it, I'll spin the bucket, I'll rotate the bucket just to make sure I get every little bit of sand misted with water. Doing it this way also demonstrates how the sand starts to get moist because as I flip the bucket over, you can see the sand fall and it doesn't fall as loose as it did when I first put it in there. When I feel the sand is damp enough, I'll start mixing the sand using a paddle wheel and a half inch drill. Even during this step, once I mix it, I will remove the drill and then I'll spray it some more with water. When you feel that your sand has been mixed adequately, now it's time to test your sand. The first test is where you clump the sand together and you break it away and you should get a clean break with no loose sand. For the second test, you want to test to make sure your sand is not too damp. To do that test, during your first test, just make sure that the sand is not sticking to your gloves or your hands, because if the sand was too damp, it would stick to you. I think this sand is ready to work with. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for my next metal melting video coming soon. See ya.